Calaroga Shark Media. Welcome back to TV in the Basement, the podcast that takes you on a journey through iconic television. I'm your host, Journey Joe Mitchell. And today we're exploring the trailblazing series that changed the landscape of TV forever, Sex and the City. When Sex and the City first premiered on HBO in 1998, it was a revelation, a frank, unapologetic exploration of modern womanhood that shattered taboos and challenged traditional narratives. Based on the writings of Candace Bushnell, the show followed the personal and professional lives of four best friends navigating the turbulent dating scene of New York City in the late 90s. At the center of this deliciously racy universe was Carrie Bradshaw, the quintessential New York writer and our guide through the wild world of Manhattan romance. Brought to life with equal parts charm and neurotic wit by Sarah Jessica Parker, Carrie was a character like no other. A fashion-obsessed, hopeless romantic with a penchant for harsh truths and risque observations. Carrie's loyal trio of confidants each embodied a distinct archetype, yet they were all united by a fiercely independent spirit and an unabashed love of cosmos and candid conversation. There was Miranda Hobbs, the no-nonsense lawyer played by Cynthia Nixon, whose pragmatic approach to life and love served as the perfect counterpoint to Carrie's whimsical musings. Then there was Samantha Jones, the outrageous and sexually ravenous PR maven who delighted in shattering boundaries and challenging societal norms. Portrayed with fearless charisma by Kim Cattrall, Samantha was the show's resident vixen, a character who celebrated her unapologetic sexuality and paved the way for more open discussions of female desire on television. And rounding out the quartet was Charlotte York, the romantic idealist brought to life by Kristen Davis. With her prim and proper Upper East Side upbringing, Charlotte's unwavering belief in traditional fairy tale love often clashed with the harsh realities of modern dating, providing plenty of comedic fodder and heartfelt moments. From its very first episode, Sex and the City captivated audiences with its boldness, its wit, and its uncompromising exploration of the female experience. Each installment served as a candid glimpse into the lives of these four friends as they navigated the treacherous waters of romance, career, and self-discovery in one of the world's most vibrant cities. But Sex and the City was so much more than just a show about dating and relationships. It was a cultural phenomenon that sparked vital conversations about sexuality, feminism, and the complex dynamics of female friendship. Through Carrie's iconic narration and the show's signature brand of sharp, laugh-out-loud humor, viewers were treated to frank discussions on everything from commitment issues and sexual experimentation to the existential crises that come with growing older and redefining one's priorities. At its core... Sex in the City was a celebration of sisterhood, a powerful reminder that the bonds we forge with our closest friends can be just as profound and life-altering as any romantic entanglement. The show reveled in the joys and struggles of female camaraderie, highlighting the importance of having a supportive network of confidants to lean on through life's ups and downs. As the series progressed, we bore witness to the evolution of these characters, watching them stumble, succeed, and ultimately come into their own as empowered women in charge of their own destinies. From Carrie's tumultuous, on-again, off-again romance with the enigmatic Mr. Big, to Miranda's journey of balancing career ambitions with unexpected motherhood, each storyline felt deeply personal and profoundly relatable. The writers masterfully wove together moments of biting social commentary with heartfelt explorations of universal themes like love, loss, and the never-ending pursuit of happiness. They weren't afraid to tackle controversial subjects head-on, whether it was Samantha's battle with breast cancer or the complexities of interracial dating in New York City. And throughout it all, the show's impeccable fashion sense and breathtaking visuals served as a love letter to the vibrant cosmopolitan spirit of Manhattan itself. From Carrie's iconic tutu and Manolo Blahnik obsession to the stunning backdrops of the city's most glamorous locales, Sex and the City was a feast for the senses, a celebration of style and urban sophistication. But perhaps the show's greatest strength was its ability to balance moments of laugh-out-loud hilarity with profound emotional depth. 
For every outrageous Samantha Zinger or cringeworthy dating disaster, there were heartwarming scenes of genuine vulnerability and self-reflection that resonated on a deeply human level. As the series reached its climactic conclusion, we said goodbye to these beloved characters with a mixture of sadness and hope. Sadness at the end of an era, but hope that their journeys had inspired countless women to embrace their authenticity and never settle for anything less than the love, friendship, and fulfillment they truly deserved. When it comes to the most celebrated installments of Sex in the City, there are several episodes that truly encapsulate the show's wit, candor, and emotional resonance. One of the most beloved is the Season 3 classic Valley of the Twenty-Something Guys, which sees the four friends attending the wedding of a couple they mercilessly mock for getting married too young. This episode perfectly captures the show's knack for blending biting social commentary with relatable life lessons about love and growing older. Another fan favorite is the Season 4 episode My Motherboard Myself, where Miranda grapples with the humiliation of being caught watching pornography by her son's nanny. This groundbreaking episode tackled female sexuality with refreshing frankness, while also exploring deeper themes of identity and shame. The two-part finale of Season 4, An American Girl in Paris, is also widely regarded as one of Sex and the City's finest hours. In these episodes, Carrie finds herself pursuing her dream of moving to Paris, only to be confronted with the harsh realities of her turbulent relationship with the mercurial Mr. Big. The stunning visuals and emotional gut punches make these episodes an unforgettable journey. No discussion of Sex in the City's best would be complete without mentioning the iconic series finale, An American Girl in Paris Part 2. After six seasons of romantic ups and downs, fans were treated to a climactic showdown as Carrie finally confronted her feelings for Big. The heart-wrenching moments and life-changing decisions made this a pitch-perfect send-off for the character's arc. Fans also rave about the Season 3 episode, The F-Buddy, which saw Carrie grappling with the complexities and potential awkwardness of a casual sexual relationship. It's a hilarious yet insightful exploration of modern dating dynamics that perfectly captured the show's signature mix of raunchiness and heart. These episodes, and so many others, showcase why Sex and the City has endured as a groundbreaking and influential series. From the razor-sharp writing to the powerful character moments, they remind us of the show's ability to be simultaneously laugh-out-loud funny and deeply moving. They are shining examples of how Sex and the City deftly tackled taboo subjects with candor and nuance, using humor and heart to humanize experiences that were once considered off-limits for television. Most importantly, these episodes represent the enduring legacy of the show, its fearless commitment to authenticity, empowerment, and the power of female friendship. They are the installments that cemented Sex and the City as a true pop culture phenomenon. In the years since its finale, Sex and the City has cemented its status as a cultural touchstone, a groundbreaking series that forever changed the way we talk about women's lives and experiences on television. Its influence can be seen in countless shows that followed, each one pushing boundaries and challenging social norms in its own way. But for those of us who fell in love with Carrie, Samantha, Charlotte, and Miranda from the very beginning, Sex in the City will always hold a special place in our hearts. It was a show that dared to be bold, to be provocative, and to embrace the complexities of modern womanhood with open arms. So, whether you're a longtime fan or a newcomer to the world of these fabulous New Yorkers, prepare to be swept away by the candor, the humor, and the unabashed celebration of female friendship that made Sex in the City an unforgettable television phenomenon. That's all for this episode of TV in the Basement. Join me next time as we explore another iconic series that broke new ground and left an indelible mark on the cultural landscape. Until then, stay fabulous, stay true to yourself, and never stop believing in the power of cosmos and great conversation.